What's good, my people? Welcome back uh, to a new video. Today, different location, but very similar from the other day. Uh, today, I wanted to make a video about uh, Messi's salary, right? I mean, Messi has chosen uh, Inter Miami instead of Arabia, and certainly there is a big loss over there because Arabia was giving out too much money. But it was just money. It was just money, just cash, you know. Instead, Inter Miami is offering something different, something interesting. Of course, I think a more attractive project in the MLS. Even though Inter Miami is last in the East Conference right now, uh, they're in the MLS. Uh, I think that um, having Messi, of course, uh, they're, they're going to win that. Um, and also Inter Miami, we're going to talk about salaries and all that. Inter Miami also promised uh, players players that they, they promised um, signings apart from Messi uh, it's it's quite interesting because in the MLS they actually have franchise players right what is a franchise player basically uh, there is a maximum budget for the salaries of the squad but each team can have up to three franchise players and these franchise players can earn as much as they want, literally, as much as they want. There is no limit, therefore, it's kind of crazy, you know. Inter the Miami actually has two franchise players, and Messi will be the third. And uh, apparently, apparently, rumors are, are saying that Inter the Miami would have promised uh, other incorporations, and they're talking about Busi, Jordi Alba, Luis Suarez. Um, we will see, maybe they'll have to kick out these two franchise players which they have already which are not very famous here in Europe to be honest maybe in the States they're more famous but anyways um, that's that's the franchise thing I think it's quite interesting you know they called it um, the David Beckham the David Beckham law or something about football about the MLS because it, they actually incorporated it when uh, when David Beckham arrived and David Beckham of course was having a crazy crazy salary compared to all these MLS players but anyways anyways um, looking at the situation they also promised for example uh, the arrival of Tata Martino Tata Martino has experience in the MLS already and has experience coaching Barca so that's, that could be interesting for, for them. Oh, oh my God, it's actually starting to rain. So I'll be quick. But uh, let's get into the sauce. What is the salary going to be, right? Well, uh, actually, Inter de Miami has promised around $50 million uh, to Leo Messi straight in cash, pure cash. But here comes the, the variables, right? The variables. Well, first of all, a commission on the Apple subscription, Apple TV subscription. In fact, Apple TV are the ones streaming um, the, the MLS. Therefore, well, Messi is gonna get a chunk of that, of the new subscriptions to the Apple TV subscription. And then also um, Messi will get um, commission on the shirts, guys. Commission on the shirts that Inter the Miami sells, of course, with the name of Messi in the back. That, that's a lot of money. That could be a lot of money. We know a lot of shirts are gonna be sold. Therefore, that's more cash incoming for Leo Messi. And uh, also, and probably the most important and the most juicy of all is the stocks, guys. Messi is going to be getting stocks from uh, the Inter de Miami and also the MLS. Crazy, guys. And with the arrival of Messi to the, to the league, of course, the stocks are going to raise like crazy. And Messi is going to make bank. So without counting the stocks, only taking into account the shirts, the, the, you know, the commission on the shirts, the commission on the TV subscription, Apple TV subscription, um, the commission, well, not the commission, actually, yeah, uh, Adidas, of course, they're going to pay him very well, and plus the $50 million. Uh, Messi will get around 100 million euro per season, less than in Arabia, but also, also Messi has an objective, and the objective is the World Cup will be played in the US, Copa America, which will also be played in the US, Copa America is coming before the World Cup, therefore you can, you guys can already start seeing the objectives of Leo Messi and, and how things are playing out, right? Messi has chosen a better place to live, Miami, more beautiful than Saudi Arabia, with all my respects to my Saudi friends, uh, I think Miami is quite attractive, the MLS, you know, it's kind of a show, I think the MLS, of course, it's better than, uh, oh, it's starting to rain heavy now. The MLS is starting uh, is, is a better league than the Arabian League. And at last, the preparation for the, the international events, the international competitions. Therefore, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. 
if you think Messi made the right decision or not. I'm looking forward to it. I think, I think pretty much, yeah, pretty much, yeah, because Arabia is just money, you know. You can always go to Arabia anyways. But I'm looking forward to your opinions. So guys, make sure to comment down below and thank you for subscribing and liking the video. Now, as I always say, visca el Barça, visca Catalunya, and see you in the next video. Vamos!